good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special top five countdown for you guys, and I don't think I've ever done this before. You guys probably have an idea of what my favorite figures are to collect based off the collection videos, based off what I say in my reviews, based off of everything we do when we cover brand new figures and all of these different things, man. But today, I figured we'd dive in. Everybody always wants to know my top five favorite superstars of all time or my top five favorite wrestlers currently and things like that. If you guys would like to know those things, let me know down in the comments section below man but here today guys we're gonna we're gonna count down my top five favorite figures to collect so this is like specific superstars that i love to collect their figures and why i love to collect those figures specifically you know why i may want to track down those figures why i hold those special to my heart and all of these different things so with that being said ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and dive into my top five countdown now i do have a few honors honorable mentions here and i do want to get into those first so to start off my honorable mentions i'm going to go with the md champion which is going to be roman reigns why the hell's the camera all off center i don't like that brad let's go ahead and fix that up a little bit but roman reigns figures i know a lot of people are gonna be like well brad he just changes the best color slightly and it's all this different stuff but man for me his figures are awesome like the only thing i don't really like is the shield legs but the different attires you can make and just the look of roman as a character and then you get the custom head sculpts with the man bun and the custom figure clothing and like this hoodie and you know you can remove the gauntlet nowadays and he's the mdt champion you know you can give him like specific bloodline looks like this for pick feds and just get creative with it he's very fun to collect like i have a i don't know how many i have but i want to say i have like 28 roman elites or something like that all varying in different vests and different tops and different head sculpts and just all these different things man they're really fun to collect i had to include him in my honorable mentions but that is my first honorable mention is going to be roman reigns next up is hbk i don't have an hbk right here but dude they're so hard to come by and we need more of them but the, every time we get one it's always a flashback i would really like to see some you know some early 2000s hbks but i do love collecting his figures he's always a guy that i'm always looking for more of but it just doesn't happen it's very upsetting but hbk is on my list and last but not least for my honorable mentions man i have to i know it's gonna be crazy but it's gonna go to the aew figure line so just hear me out man the fact that i have a luchasaurus a kenny omega right here elite champion looking beautiful and then an orange cassidy like just seeing this is absolutely beautiful i feel like the AEW figure line really got me excited to collect. Like you guys know, it, it made me want to start a mock collection. It made me just, I don't know, they're just super fun to find. I Just finding them in the wild gives me this sense of joy and it like kind of gives me a small pop, you know? So, and just having full-fledged figures of these guys that can pose around and stuff without having to customize and do all these crazy things and the double-jointed arms. Don't like, don't get me wrong. They're not a perfect figure line. They have their faults, absolutely. I've been disappointed in the past with some of these releases. Some of them don't stand. They get loose joints all the different stuff but man these figures are just fun to collect they're just fun to collect i love finding them in the wild i love ordering them just seeing them on the shelf displaying and playing and articulating them man aew figure line had to go on my honorable mention so i had to mention these guys could not make the video without giving a mention to the aew figure line now diving into the top five coming to number five ladies and gentlemen we have randy orton now i love randy orton's figures i honestly i think like just because of the different fix-ups you can do that has a lot to do with this countdown like you guys know I love taking parts from certain figures switching them with other figures mix and matching coming up with cool formulas coming up with cool fix-ups that's what we love to do over here so just this legend killer slash current day you take the legend killer trunks put the the modern top Randy Orton on it and it looks beautiful right and just having all of them stand on a shelf like this and seeing all the different trunks colors and like seeing him progress from the legend killer to what he is now so sick I love Randy Orton he's one of my favorites of all time and I I, I love his figures man they're just great you really can't find a bad Randy Orton Elite. Try and do it. Coming in at number four, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go with Finn Balor. We gotta get my boy in here, the Prince. Not only do you have his regular sculpts here, or, or non-demon, but the, the I'm including both. They kind of have their two-in-one there, so it's cool to make fix-ups with the demon here with the red kick pads on the entrance grates. You have the Ultimate Edition with the interchangeable heads. You have the, you know, the current NXT style Finn Balor, and when he gets a double-jointed figure, it's all over, right? But I remember when it was like such a rare thing that we would get a non-demon Finn Balor. Then we got the Elite 74 with the leather jacket that was freaking beautiful with the smiley fin. You have the pissed off heel fin. You got the demons. You got the different fix-ups with the smiley head and the difference of the white kick pads. My God. Plus, I love Finn Balor, so just seeing the demon in figure form with the ripped torso and then seeing Finn here, he's also one of my favorite talents again, so it really calls for great figures, man. I also forgot the Ultimate does have double-jointed arms, so there's that, but you know what I meant. His new Elite, I'm, I'm waiting on a new Finn Balor Elite. 
complete. This one's pretty much near damn perfection, so I don't know, Brad. Finn Balor's definitely one of my favorite figures to collect. Coming in at number three, guys, we are going with Jeff Hardy. Now, you may have thought he would have came in at the top or near the top, and you would be correct. You guys know how I am with the Jeff Hardys. It's so crazy how many different fix-ups you can make with these guys. The only thing that I do not like about the Jeff Hardy figures are the legs, and he'd probably be number one or close to number one. I mean, he, number three is close to number one, but you know what I mean. If he had ball joints, he would have been loved just a little bit more. Not gonna lie to you, but the different shirt combinations with the sleeves and the face paints and torso cracks and just the creative things you can do with this guy make for a really fun shelf. You know, the, the, the colors are popping off. You got the face paints and everything. Here's more of a flashback and then you got more of a modern, but this is a, head, a different head sculpt on a different body. This is the same way and you can paint it up and do all the crazy things, man. Jeff Hardy figures are super fun to collect and I just, I just love it. He's also one of my favorites of all time, so those figures are obviously going to be coveted and they're nostalgic for me. Coming in at the number two spot. Now, this one may shock you, Brad, but I'm going with one John Cena. Now, you're probably like, what the blue hell, Brad? I thought that for sure that Cena would be at number one. Now, I'm going to get into why he's not number one and why he did come in at the number two spot. So, as you guys can see, we do have the John Cenas. Now, I love John Cena. He is my goat. He is my favorite wrestler of all time. However, you guys know as well as I do, his legs like this are super, super annoying. Like, they get really stiff. The hips not as bad here, but like the, the legs down here get stiff and the ankles get loose and they want to face plant and face dive. I can't tell you how many Cena's have just plummeted off my shelf, man. You guys know I own, I want to say it's right at 100 John Cena elites. It's the most elites I have in my collection and I love collecting them simply because of how awesome they look on the shelf. You know, you get all the colors and the shirts and the hats and the accessories all up there on the shelf. It looks absolutely beautiful. I love the way it looks. I love collecting his figures, but the reason he did not make number one, I think, is because he's not the most poseable, at least at this juncture. I know we have the double joint. I love these Ultimate Editions, don't get me wrong, but these right here, the shorter short Cena, and see, this is a Ghostbusters Elite. I paired it with a couple shoes and armbands, and you get a completely new looking Cena that looks awesome. So, also, he can pose around so good, man. I recommend, if you pick Fed, man, use this version of Cena with the shorter shorts. I've used both versions in my Fed, so that's, you know, that's a thing, but I would recommend the shorter shorts. It just, it looks clean, super poseable, super solid, and I just love them, man. They, they stand really well. They can run around the ring, kick all the ass. The, the, the Cena's are elite, man. They're absolutely elite. But he did not come in at the number one spot, man. If you're waiting on the number one spot, number one is going to go to, if you paid close attention, he's in the background of this said video right now. It's gonna go to Seth freaking Rollins. I went with Seth Rollins. Now, honestly, there's a lot of things that come into this. First of all, his figures are very poseable. I love the way his figures feel in the hand. They're always on ball joints. His attires are sick AF. Again, up on the shelf man, when you got all these different gears, Mattel loves to pump them out. They use a great formula for him. I, I know a lot of people will say he has skinny legs, but that's not as bad to me as like an AJ Styles torso, you know what I'm saying, with the Daniel Bryan style torso. I think the Seth Rollins figures are amazing, and I love to collect them, man. I mean, one day he may be taken over, but at this juncture, man, at, at the time of recording, the Seth Rollins figures are my favorite to collect. I went into the store the other day and bought four Elite 86s of the Seth Rollins. Why? Because I can think of countless fix-ups to do, simple swaps here and there that make the figures just look so badass. Plus, I love Seth Rollins. I think he's awesome. He, he's a great-looking character. Did add the Messiah there, which is great, but his I don't know, man. His figures are just super fun, man. Yeah, I mean, you got the Buzz Lightyear Rollins that we made as well. Let me go ahead and grab him. Another reason why I love Seth Rollins figures is just look at the possibilities with the customs and the just fantasy gears. This Punisher gear for Seth Rollins. You have the Buzz Lightyear your gear over here with the Space Ranger logo for Seth Rollins. Even has the Rollins nameplate. Absolutely gorgeous, man. I, I just love collecting his figures. You can get super creative with him and he, he does it in real life. He comes out in these great attires in real life. His figures feel so good in the hand and really poseable. I like his moveset when fetting. He won the MDT Royal Rumble. He's the number one contender for the championship for six years now it seems like. So I may do. Just the Seth Rollins figures are undefeated, man. I would love to know down in the comment section below which figures are your favorites to collect, man. Please let me know 
down below. I would love to uh, hear what you guys have to say. Don't care who it is, but I think that pretty much wraps up my top five figures that I love to collect. Huge shout out to everyone that checked out the video till the end. God, what a beautiful Punisher Rollins, man. Looks freaking sweet. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. Before we get out of here, let's get into a random shout out. And this shout out is going to go to Christopher Carranza, who says, Trey White and Brad have come to the terms of the release, has come to the terms of the release of the old MDT Vindication stage. We wish it the best in its future endeavors. Top comment on the last video of the new Vindication stage. If you guys missed out on that, definitely go check it out. And a huge shout out to Christopher for that comment. Also, I wanted to mention tomorrow we have a story time, story time video, the time that my brother and I met The Undertaker. So you do not want to miss that video, man. Going to be a great time. So definitely come check out tomorrow's video where we explain the story of how we met The Undertaker. Very great story time. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Don't cross the line like freaking the ankles on every John Cena elite like this ever. You cross the line.